chem exam explained, where the aim is chemistry clarity, exam mastery. In today's video, we will be looking at Cape Chemistry Unit 1, 2012, number 2, Kinetics and Equilibria. Let's go. 2A. Describe using five essential steps, an experiment which can be used to determine the solubility product of calcium hydroxide at room temperature. So the first thing we're going to do is to make a saturated solution of calcium hydroxide and leave it to stand at room temperature. Three, transfer 25 cm cube or 20 cm cube to a conical flask using a pipette. Four, add phenethylene indicator to the calcium hydroxide solution. Five, titrate the calcium hydroxide solution with standard solution HCl. Six, record the titer values. And seven, Repeat steps three to six until the tata values are within plus or minus 0 0.10 centimeters cube. 2B, the solubility product KSP at 25 degrees Celsius for calcium carbonate was found to be 5.0 times 10 to the minus nine mole square per dm six. B1, define the term solubility product, KSP. The solubility product is a constant obtained by multiplying the ion concentrations in a saturated solution. B part 2. Write the equation for the dissociation of calcium carbonate. So you write calcium carbonate solid because it is sparingly soluble. Reversible arrow calcium ion plus carbonate ion. B3. Write the solubility constant expression for calcium carbonate. And this is where you write Ksp is equal to the concentration of calcium ions times the concentration of carbonate ions. Two part C. Calculate the solubility of calcium carbonate given the Ksp of 5.0 times 10 to the minus 9 mole square per dm6 at 25 degrees Celsius in one pure water. So the first thing we're going to do is to let the solubility of calcium carbonate be equal to X or S. I will be using the solubility to be equal to X. Note that the solubility is the same as the concentration. So the solubility can be in moles per dm cube or it can be in grams per dm cube. Looking at the equation, calcium carbonate produces calcium ions and carbonate ions and the Ksp equation Given the Ksp, we can now find the concentration of the ions in the saturated solution. So we write Ksp equal x times x because the concentrations are unknown. We are then going to make x the subject of the formula. So x is equal to the square root of the Ksp. And we were given the Ksp, so we just simply plug in the information. And that gives us an x value of 7.1 times 10 to the minus five moles per dm cube. C part two, they want to find the solubility of the saturated solution if 0 0.1 mole per dm cube sodium carbonate solution was added. So we have the solubility of the sodium carbonate that was added to the calcium carbonate saturated solution. Now, what you should notice is that the sodium carbonate contributes a common ion to the saturated solution of calcium carbonate. And that common ion should cause the solubility of the calcium carbonate to decrease. Let's look at why before we continue with the calculation. If you look at calcium carbonate and it dissociates to give you calcium two plus ions and carbonate ions, and you introduce the carbonate ions by way of the sodium carbonate, what you are doing is increasing the concentration. So according to La Chatelier's principle, the system will move in such a way to oppose the change. So by introducing a common ion to the calcium carbonate solution, that common ion is carbonate ion from sodium carbonate, the system will shift to the left. Producing precipitates of calcium carbonate. So what happens there is that the introduction of the common ion decreases the solubility of the calcium carbonate. 
So let's continue with the calculation. Using the equation and the expression, Ksp equal the concentration of calcium ions times carbonate ions, we know that the solubility of the ions are unknown in this case, but we are going to add 0.1 mole per dm cube of sodium carbonate. Now, the reason why we use 0.1 here is because the initial concentration that we calculated for the carbonate ions is very small. It is 7.1 times 10 to the minus 5, which is way less than 0.1. So we can then use 0.1 as the concentration of the carbonate ions. And we're going to use the unknown X to find the solubility of the ions present when 0.1 moles per dm cube of sodium carbonate was added. And so we make X the subject of the formula. Now, in making X the subject of the formula, X equal Ksp divided by 0.1, which is equal to the value for Ksp that we knew already to be 5.9 times 10 to the minus 9 divided by the solubility, which is 0.1. And we find the new solubility to be 5.9 times 10 to the minus 8 moles per dm cube. 2D. What is responsible for the difference between the solubilities in C1 and C2 above? Well, we discussed this earlier. The presence of the common ion, which is the carbonate ion, is responsible for the decreased solubility of calcium carbonate in sodium carbonate observed. This is the end of module two, 2012. Please remember to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you will be notified. Thank you.